Is, uh, hello everyone and uh, be sure to watch till the end for a bonus feature but uh, as I'm uh, working uh, in this real estate covering up all this uh, empty white spaces which can be scary sometimes when you are uh, uh, starting to paint but this is a turtle sea turtle painting and uh, I'm just going back and forth with my pellet knife and uh, just covering up this uh, basic uh, outline, I mean background of the sea turtle, as you can see, I masked up the outline of it and uh, we're gonna unmask that at the end of our creation, but... Brush here, I think this is a one inch Bob Ross brush that I'm using, but any kind of brush you have, uh, you, that's fine, but I've waited a few minutes uh, to for that black paint to dry up so I can put up uh, this other next layer set of layers of paints here for you um, and white uh, Yellow orange and then a little bit of purple and then a blue kind of mix in together to represent a nice little Sunset so now that I look at this painting, you know, I probably should have used um, a little bit more of a neutral colors uh, for the background, but we'll, which we'll get into, but it's part of the journey, of course. And uh, if you're following along, you know, you just can use uh, this uh, ultramarine blue uh, and the darkest from the bottom to represent the uh, undersea ocean here and uh, mix that in with uh, white and it gets lighter and lighter. And uh, uh, when you get to the very top of the ocean, I like to put in turquoise painting for you but I just waited a few more hours uh, for the background to uh, dry up because uh, I like to have a little bit more control when I'm uh, working this next set of um, uh, this rock here you don't really always have to uh, let the background color dry before you do so but it's okay this is a good uh, another way of different way of uh, painting uh, but uh, I'm just decided to uh, put this rock and on top of this I wanted to put a uh, a little bit of tree here just a little bit of uh, a little bit of part fantasy I guess part uh, you know a little bit of a more detailed look compared to other painting but I'm just taking out my old sponge a small sponge as you can see uh, just to kind of dab the outline of it uh, using a black color but some people I know some artists uh, are against using a black dark you know darkest black color for things like this and they always encourage you to mix in different colors you know as I'm uh, studying I'm pretty bad with colors myself but uh, yeah, you just have to start somewhere and uh, as you go along you just kind of try to learn from it and uh, try to get better and this is what I'm trying to do um, and this painting was actually uh, created back in 2020 2020 during the uh, pandemic so using a uh, toothpick here just to kind of you know uh, create a sense of stars right yeah? I just wanted to use this uh, toothpick to make sure that I depict uh, in a little fantasy like stars in the sky and uh, I could have probably done a better job um, creating this I know some artists like to use instead of a toothpick uh, toothbrush and uh, that's another way of creating that that's not that's not a big deal but uh, make sure that when you're using a toothpick to create stars uh, it's uh, make sure the water is uh, mixed in with uh, that white color a bit more to give make sure that all the stars are spl splattering uh, uh, distribute more nicely so back to our paintings here I'm just going to uh, use the uh, surface of the indicate the surface of the, of the ocean with uh, by mixing in some ultramarine blue and uh, darker blues here and uh, I've done that and uh, basically basically moving on to our uh, sea turtle right here uh, the last time I saw sea turtle was during my vacation time 2021 North Shore um, in Oahu and uh, I just did a little snorkeling there and lucky for me there happens to be a couple of uh, sea turtles uh, that were swimming and grazing on uh, the seagrass just being um, just being turtle you know just being just just having 
a good time just stuff you know as the waves uh, ebbs and flows or just kind of floating and swimming as if they're just kind of floating in the air you know uh, in terms of uh, visual illusion they're just uh, having a good time so uh, i wish you guys could uh, if you guys can get a chance to uh, snorkel uh, in north shore hawaii i would highly encourage you guys to do so but uh, getting back to our paintings here i'm just going to use this small tiny brush uh, to create basic outlines of of the undersea ocean with uh, kelp uh, is basically what I'm trying to uh, uh, depict here along with maybe others you know I forgot the name of it kind of escapes me but a uh, little bit of bubbles here and there and uh, depending on how you like to uh, create this piece you can be really ultra detailed of course I've seen some great great artists spending hours and hours and even days and days and weeks on end uh, layers upon layers trying to get uh, this undersea uh, ocean thing uh, very very detailed which is good but you know that's just one way but you know I, I just um, I kind of go back and forth on this because my personal philosophy about painting sometimes I feel like oh I gotta be really detailed like these guys and try to follow some great uh, artists that's that are already successful but at the end of the day you know it's all about what's comfortable what's comfortable for me you know, what's comfortable for you what makes you uh what makes you uh just happy when you're creating versus trying to be someone trying to follow someone's style that you're not really comfortable with and you, you can tell you know it's so it's all up to you you're gonna have to answer you can answer that question yourself what am i comfortable with you know what am i what's my major objective in terms of when i'm creating this piece is to relax, have fun, or, you know, you don't want to be, you know, when you're creating it, being so stressed out, try to be someone that that you're not. So that's one of the mistakes I've, I've made in the past. And I try to, you know, uh, you know, it's, it's sometimes it's good to follow other artist style, but at the end of the day, it's all about creating your own unique signatures and your own unique uh, sign, uh, artistic um, um niche if you will so uh, whatever makes you happy so here we go i'm just gonna uh, indicate some sort of uh, you know water you know kind of trickling down water as the wave crashes into the rock ebbs and flows and the water just kind of you know when the waves kind of goes away these water i've noticed um, kind of trickles down the rock so that's what i'm trying to indicate here uh with this particular rock here but uh, in nowadays to be honest with you I'm much more I feel like um, I really like the idea of loose painting you know just kind of letting it loose just kind of very um, you know let the you know, as I'm painting just letting my hands do all the motion instead of being obsessed or fixated or even stressed out about oh god just this, this little particular subject matter that I'm painting needs to be very detailed or photorealistic like these those other professional artists are doing but uh, it's it's again you know it's all about your style what you're comfortable with and you know at the end of the day it has to make you happy so if you guys are one of those uh seven or eight percent people out there that likes to follow along that's great but i know a vast majority of you just likes to uh watch me paint this piece for you i've amassed it and uh, a lot of times with the mask you can have this mistakes like that so i'm just going to cover it up no big deal and uh, let it dry for a few minutes and uh, i'm going to add some little bit of dribble this is actually a uh, latex painting that i've got from home depot and this is basically a navy blue kind of color so i like the idea of at that time when i was painting i was looking at other uh uh, color themed home decor piece whenever I go to the store that's popular uh, in the day it's still pretty good popular is the white background with navy blue combination is a pretty uh, I think pretty good especially if you're trying to uh, you know hang this at the end of the day in your living room or kitchen what have you and I added some blue uh, navy blue as well as gold color so three colors looks pretty good here white navy blue and gold was what I, tried to, what I was trying to go for but uh, is it a perfect piece no it's not but these are the basic colors from Liquitex uh, that I've used for for you guys to create this piece in thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again real soon